Pops is admiring our latest addition to the toy oh, collection. I'm trying to. Trying to show how it matches the rug there. Door panels. Yes. I got these from, where did I get these from? I think these are from SS396 ground up. We'll double check, put it in the video if it's different. But uh, I slapped this one on the car door just to get an idea. Doesn't fit yet because it still has the window crank over there that we have to remove. So it won't get quite sit flush, but I really like these, especially with the little chrome trim yeah. on it there. That kind of makes it nice. Yeah, I dig these. These are really nice. Butamus. Yep. And behind the car, we have carpet. It's in a box, can't see it, but. Aha! Uh -huh. That's for next time. Or ish. Um, I don't know if I showed this in the last video. Did we talk about the carpet colors? Yes, we did. We did? Okay, so we ended up going with this one, which is the dark slate gray, I think. Um, not the black. So we'll see how it looks when we put it all together. But uh, maybe against the door panels, that'll give you a better idea of the color contrast. Yeah, there you go. You can see the, the black it basically kind of vanishes into the, the door. Or the slate gray gives you a little bit of contrast against the door. You know which one? You got this one? Yeah. Yeah, we'll see. I think um, it'll look good. If not, well, we'll replace it. All right, so today, once again, back on the console. Pops' favorite thing. Yeah. Um, so what we're doing now, we're getting ready for the power window switch. And there really isn't a good place to put it with this console, so we're gonna put it right here. So what I've marked out here is we're gonna cut out this bottom piece right here and slide that forward to make a, a spot to put that basically. It's not gonna sit exactly in that location, but that's just where we're gonna slide that piece up. It's actually gonna sit down here, more like that, a little bit lower. Um, so we gotta cut this piece out and slide it up then reform that and then fill in that gap. Lots of fun. And then, uh, then we have to figure out if this cigarette lighter is going to work or not. If not, we got to plug that up. We definitely got to plug this up. I'll hopefully get all that plastic work done today. And then we can move, do the body work and be done with it. Yeah? Happy New Year! Happy New Year! This Thank could you. be the year we get it done, son! It better be. Huh? I said it better be. Yeah. Gone on long enough. I was just looking at some of my memories. Finally finished sanding two years ago. And we're still not done. I know. Still sanding. Still sanding. All right. It's all good. It's all good. Yep. We're healthy. Yes, we are. And Omicron to deal with. So we got our masks back on. Our numbers here in uh, the Bay Area have spiked up crazy this last week. So we're going to be careful again. 17%. So we're uh, masking up. We're both boosted, but we're going to be careful. Yeah. So all right, let's get to work. Downtown LA or something. You're stuck in traffic. Then the heat got you. Yeah, vapor lock is no fun. All right, so got that piece cut out there like so. Uh, we used this disc for the most part. That worked really well. And then the little stubby one to clean up the corners. So we're basically going to take this thing and move it up here somewhere. Figure out exactly what. Um, and like I said, we just got to reshape these corners here. Get it to fit. And then we'll use this piece, which is the part we cut out from up there, to fill in the gap because it's the same material. This has a slight little bend to it, so we've got to form it to that. But that's it. So we'll figure out where we want to get this thing to go, get it glued in, and then we'll take it from there. All right, so we're just kind of working on this guy right here. Um, this is the mounting plate for the switch, so we're kind of eyeballing that where we want that. Uh, so what we decided, we pulled this thing back, we notched this thing out a little bit. This thing will go in here, up 
to the bottom of that like that. And so we basically just need to make a couple of little things to fill in these holes here. That doesn't look centered, but it should be. I measured it. Um, so anyway, we're filling these two holes here, and that also saves us from having to try and figure out how to make that bend in it because it's just these little pieces that won't matter. This again. That doesn't seem right. The body piece moves a little bit too, you know. Six millimeters. One, zero. Yeah, it's definitely not centered. It's got to move. Why that's not centered. Hey, right, we'll figure that part out. All right, so we've got all the pieces cut out. Just put some tape on there to lay everything out so where it's supposed to go. So basically like that, uh, we're going to get this goop out again. Fuser 143, hopefully. I'm going to just run it around all of there. And then these edges here, I've got to build this up with some fuser as well. And a little acid brush. Don't focus on it. Mark these with some registration marks, so hopefully know where they're supposed to go. stuff on the brush is already starting to harden up. It's kind of weird as cold as it is. Yep. Shooting that in there. That's pretty good. That's what that is. Alright, you see that came out rather nice. Um, these corners here, I gotta add a little bit more to beef them up a little bit. Um, again, the reason we're using this fuser stuff is because it's sandable. It's not like you know trying to do this with epoxy or something. It's really hard to sand. So this is still tacky here, so we can work with it a little bit. So I just trimmed those corners back, as you can see, maybe. Um, but I need to build them up a little bit here because they're a little thin. That one's kind of okay there, but this one's a little thin. So build those up. Um, and then we did check, we can't, the cigarette lighter won't fit in here, so we need to fill this hole up too, unfortunately. All right, so I made a template for that. I use a file to sand this down here an eighth of an inch so that that sheet of plastic will fit right in there. Um, and same thing, we will goop all this up and then we'll use the tape to mold it to that contour there. Just got to trace this out onto this stuff. And this is just one eighth inch ABS. 
Alrighty, got that piece all cut out ready to go. Careful. Yeah. So same treatment. About half of that tube's gone. So we'll go ahead and glue that baby in. And we'll go ahead and add some more over here while we're at it. Alright. There we go. So we added a little more stuff in here to around these corners. The gear shift kind of hits this little corner right here in a second. Um, so we'll, we'll take these back a little bit from where they are. Um, hopefully when it's sitting down all the way, that won't be an issue. But it's, it's pretty close right there in that corner. But we can pull this back as much as we want. Make this a really tight radius there if necessary. You can see this part came out real nice here. Pops would get out of the way. Oh, sorry. So this came out pretty flush. It was sticking up a little bit right here. And I just took my finger and mashed it in there. And I'm sitting down in there, so I'm pretty happy with that. Yeah. And that thing will theoretically go down in there. It's a little snug. And this thing has these really crazy tabs on it that I don't want to mess with, so I'm not going to wedge that down in there, but something like that. And remember the, oh, sorry, the ultimate plan is we're going to wrap that in that vinyl over there. So all we need to do is just make this smooth so the vinyl wraps around it pretty. And that's it. All right, so Pops hit the road. Um, I'm going to take this thing now. I just went over the whole thing with 120, smooth it all out. I'm going to put some filler on it. I'm not going to put much filler down here because this part's still kind of flexible and it'll crack. But up here mostly is where the heavy work's going to go. Uh, lay some right in here and these areas down here mostly. And then like I said, we'll, we'll sand these to the, proper, the appropriate layout down the road. All right, here we go. Uh, that is not meant to be the final coat, but just the first coat. You don't want to put it too thick on at once. Uh, but Looks like it's going to come out pretty nice. Um, didn't really require much down here, so most of this is going to get sanded off. This is almost perfect right here. That came out really nice. You can hardly even see where that filler panel was. Uh, so it's really just building up this last panel to be roughly the same bezel as this one. Again, this is mostly under the dash, so you can't see it. And that's why I'm not going to bother with anything up under here. Um, when we were test fitting this thing, I found that this thing is hitting the ECU still. Uh, I think maybe the console came down further than when I was test fitting it before. I think it's going to be okay. I think we can put this thing in on the console and put the console in and I think it'll just lift the back of the console up a little bit. So I think it'll be fine. Um, this thing's a lot heavier than it was before. <laughs> anyway, uh, so that's going to do it for today. Um, we should be able to wrap this up next time, I think, um, without any more trouble. Um... And I don't know what we're going to do next. I will figure it out. Um, I was talking to Pops. We've got all kinds of parts ordering here. The door panels, the carpet. What else? Um, need to order all the, the window pieces and stuff. Um, i got to figure out the right ones for this car because I know they make two types. Um, so I think you want the one that doesn't have the integral felts in it. If I'm not mistaken, since I have these. Mine sits on the outside here a bit. Anyway. Stuff like that. Um, we had the hood open just to see if we'd be able to get the windshield in without having to take the hood off. Looks like we can. If any of you guys have any opinions of the the polyurethane stuff versus just putting the butyl strip around here, anybody that has any thoughts on that, let me know. Because if we can just do the butyl, that'd be a heck of a lot easier than dealing with that polyurethane. Um, seems like that's kind of a new thing people are doing now. Just put that butyl strip around here and it just mash it in there. But anywho, that's going to do it. Happy New Year again, everyone. I will catch you on the next one. See ya!